Hello viewers, we are a team of students from Pope John Senior High and Minor Seminary. We present to you the science projects we developed in response to invitation for the upcoming STEM Novation 2022. The project is titled the Corn Corp Water Filtration System. This project addresses a critical environmental crisis the nation is confronted with. Our water bodies are heavily polluted with sediments and toxic chemicals by illegal mining activities, popularly called Galamse. The rural communities heavily rely on these polluted water bodies for their daily activities, posing great risk to their health and life. These communities are poor and cannot afford expensive water purification systems. We therefore set out to develop a cheaper but effective filtration system using a cheap and locally available material. In the course of our search on the internet for such a material, we came across several research findings on the corn cob's high adsorptive properties and therefore has a great potential of removing dissolved and suspended contaminants of water by the process of adsorption. Adsorption is the process of physical and chemical adherence of a gas, liquid or suspended solid particles on surfaces of another material by weak van der Waal forces. The corn cob is suitable for this project for several reasons. Number 1. It is an agricultural waste abundantly available in rural farming communities because it is put to little or no use. Using it for filtration of water, therefore, is recycling of agricultural waste which is in tune with the first theme of the competition which is recycling for national social economic development. 2. It has high mechanical strength. 3. It has high porosity. 4. It is 100% environmentally friendly or co-friendly. 5. It is cheap or cost-effective. 6. It is reusable. 7. It is easy to handle. 8. It has low maintenance cost. 9. It has a high adsorptive capacity. To increase the corpse adsorptive capacity, it is processed into four forms which are longitudinal sections, small pieces, powdered foam, and activated charcoal. Each foam is used to construct separate layers of the filter. To provide a firm supportive base of the filter, three layers of sand were added namely gravel, coarse sand, and fine sand. Each layer is separated from the other layer above or below by a geotextile to prevent materials of one layer entering into another layer. After the construction, a team obtained sample of water from River Dinsu, a Galamse polluted water body for filtration. To test the effectiveness of the filter, a sample of the Dinsu River water before filtration and the sample after the filtration were packaged and sent to the Ghana Water Company Limited and Ghana Standard Board for tests to be conducted on them on the levels of pollutants in both waters. If we receive the results, we shall then evaluate the effectiveness of the water and determine its suitability for domestic use. In addition, we added a water level indicator to determine the water level of unclean water filtered. Thank you.